What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to talk about four drills for quarterbacks to get a quicker release. Let's get started. All right guys, before we get started on this video, if you're a quarterback and you wanna improve your reading coverage ability, you wanna improve your football IQ, being able to recognize defense, please check out that link in the description. We break down 16 NFL defenses a month. Hope to get you guys signed up. So the first drill we're gonna talk about is you could do this literally standing. You don't really have to move too much and I want you to be in front of a mirror in this situation, guys, because we've gotta be able to watch our mechanics and see how we look. So you're gonna be standing in front of a mirror. Now, quickness is all about thought and all about how fast you can get that front foot down. So if I think I'm gonna be quick, if I have some urgency, if I'm thinking with a sense of urgency, my feet are gonna be quick. Now, when it comes to having a quick release, it's not about the arm. Every time everybody says, have a quick release, I need you to get the ball out quicker, they rush their arm. That's not what it comes down to. It comes down to a couple things with my legs and being able to get my seat, feet set fast with no wasted motion. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is we're just working our strokes. You're gonna get your feet nice and wide just outside of my shoulders. Nice, relaxed carriage. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna work our stroke going back and my hips coming over. Open, get my front foot in the ground as fast as I can okay because that's what's gonna come down to when I'm in the pocket and I'm dropping back and my front foot takes a while to get down and I have this over stride all it does is this makes this release longer and then I have this real high release when I have this over stride I don't want that I want to get my foot in the ground as fast as possible so all we're gonna do is we're gonna be here you could do this with a ball you could work this with no ball if you don't have a ball to work with in your house set up right in front of a mirror all we're gonna do good posture sitting down and we're just gonna be here now you see how I'm pivoting off my back leg, bringing my back hip through, but I'm getting my back front foot in the ground as fast as I can. Because if I don't get this in the ground fast, my back hip come through, can't come through. The sooner this gets in the ground, my, my, my stroke, I'm back in this L or somewhere here. I'm not too particular about the L, but somewhere in this range. The quicker this gets in the ground, the quicker my back hip can come through. And that's what takes me to this 90 degree angle, and then I can throw. So all we're gonna be doing here, nice and relaxed. One, we go sets of five two, three, four, five. And I want my hips to be violent. I want you to get that front foot in the ground as fast as you can. And when we're set, I want to make sure I have some weight on this front leg. Don't want to be all the way back here and I don't want to be too front leg heavy. Nice, 60% on my back leg, 40% on my front leg. Working sets of five. I would suggest going about 10 sets of five with this in front of a mirror. All right, guys, so this next drill we're gonna talk about to get your release quicker is just a simple crossover drill, okay? So you're gonna start here. What this is working is throwing with timing, okay? Because not every time we're gonna be able to take a hitch. That's what everybody loves to do. That's what I hate about seven on seven is quarterbacks will drop back and then they'll take 85 hitches before they make this throw. There are situations where we gotta throw with timing. You throw a bang eight, you throw a speed out. We don't got time to hitch. It's one, two, three, let the ball go. If we're under center, one, two, three, four, five, let the ball go. We don't have time to take a hitch. Screws up the timing of the play. That's what this is working. Getting your ball out of the hand, getting the ball out of your hand as soon as your back leg hits the ground. So you're to start crossed over like this nice and relaxed it's very important that we're not tense right here guys we always want to be relaxed with my upper half we want to let my hips and my legs do the work and let the arm just roll right into everything so we're just going to be here we're going to start crossed over all we're going to do is we're going to hit this right leg and be nice and violent with my right leg weights on the inside portion of my feet Right when my right leg hits the ground, I'm gonna drive and get this ball out. What this is working is you just getting the ball out as soon as your right leg hits the ground. This can help with a situation where let's say it's quick game. I gotta throw a quick slant, catch the snap. I gotta go right leg and get this ball out right now. It's just working on you getting the ball as soon as this back leg hits the ground, being able to shoot this thing out of your hand, getting your front foot in the ground, getting your back hip through the throw. I'm gonna show you how this thing's gonna look full speed. All right, guys, so this next drill is going to work you being able to get the ball out of your hands while you're escaping the pocket or when you have to set your feet quick, okay? So being able to set my feet fast to get this ball out of my hand is all about getting rid of wasted motion. So this is a scenario where I got to escape out of the pocket. I got to hook replace, get my feet set, and then be able to get this ball out quick without jumping because I don't want to take my cleats out of the ground because then I have to load up again and without taking 20 different steps and then chattering my feet and getting this ball out. Being able to get this thing out with violent feet, get my hips hooked around, and getting this ball out. So you're going to start, you're going to make this throw right by this cone so it's going to be about five yards and we're going to take off on a jog so when we get up to this cone we're going to use a hook replace method we're going to hook with my left leg replace where my left was with my right leg now my hips are set and then i'm going to drive and get this ball out and make this throw okay so you're going to take off about on a five yard nice easy jog it's just going to be a nice easy jog here we're going to hook replace get this ball out nice relaxed upper half my feet are violent that first step when i hook is like an anchor. You're in a ship and you're dropping an anchor. The second step replaces and I'm driving off that inside arch of my back foot, get my front foot in the ground fast, get my back hip through, and then I'm delivering this ball, okay? I wanna work about, I would say five throws each direction. When I'm coming back to the right side, I wanna be able to come here and it's the same thing. I wanna hook with my left, 
and then just replace where my left was with my right. The front side's a little bit easier. I'm just gonna take off on a nice easy jog, five yards, get to this cone, hook the place, it's out. It's, all, it's pretty easy coming to the right side. The left side's the harder side because I gotta flip my hips, but I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look both directions. All right guys, so this last drill we're gonna talk about today is you're gonna start with the football on the ground. So what we're gonna work is you just being able to catch this thing, maybe handling a bad snap, catching a shotgun snap, popping your feet and getting this ball out of your hands quick. Now, you're gonna start with this in between your feet, you're gonna get in your shotgun stance, okay? Even if you're an under center quarterback, this is gonna help. So you're gonna start with your hands behind your head, okay? So when your hands are behind your head, it forces us to really react and have to think quick, okay? Quickness is all about thought. It's not about being, okay, I'm just gonna rush my feet, rush the throw, that's quickness. So you got to come up to the line of scrimmage. I'm going to be as quick as I can on my feet right now. I'm going to be under control and get this ball out of my hands. That should be the thought process. So when we're here, we're going to be here. Somebody's going to be standing in front of you, and they're going to say go. When they say go, all we're going to do is we're going to pick up this ball. I like working no threads because in quick game, we can't spend time getting the threads. That's going to make our release a lot longer. So we're going to pick the ball up, no threads. Now, what everybody loves to do on this, and this is why some people won't like this drill, is because they'll come back set with bad posture because they had to bend down and pick the ball up. When I have to come down and get this ball, I want to make sure I bring it right up to my carriage. I get my feet set, same hook replace idea. Maybe one extra step in there. I'm not going to be too picky about that, but I would like it to just be hook replaced with your front leg. I want to get back to this good vertical posture from my waist up so I can nice and easy rotate over this throw and get my elbow up. What a lot of guys will do is they'll pick it up, they'll be low, they'll drive and their elbow will come low, and then they got this under control or out of control motion where their wrist breaks. Okay, I want to work about three sets of five reps of this. I'm going to show you how this thing's going to look full speed. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Please check out that link in the description. Again, if you're a quarterback and you want to improve your coverage reading ability, you want to be able to understand what defenses are doing, how to attack those defenses, how to get a better athlete, please leave in the comments any questions you guys have. I will make sure to get back to you, and I'll see you guys next time.